Hey, what's going on YouTube? This is Dottie with Ignite Cinemas, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to do an awesome freeze frame intro effect using Final Cut Pro 10. Let's get it! So this tutorial is pretty awesome as it really spices up any video project you're doing, especially when you're introducing characters or people and you want to give it that extra Ignite finish. So first thing what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to film your subject. In this case, I filmed myself. I was simply walking up, swag, drip, and do a movement. You know, I did a few right here. Really have fun with it. Also, I want to add the scenes you see here were shot at 60 frames a second on a Panasonic GH5 4K. It's not necessary, but in my opinion, it makes it look more buttery smooth. Once you have your scene, put it into the timeline and we can work with it. Now, right now I have one that fully color graded and everything prior to making this tutorial. Once you have this, you're going to zoom in and you're going to highlight. Boom. So you want to pick out where you want it to stop. So right here, as soon as I put the thumbs up, I'm going to come over here to the timing option and we're going to do hold and we're going to have that pose held and you want to take this and drag it out to the, as long duration as you want. Perfect. Once you have that, you're going to want to copy this clip that you just did. So I'm going to hit hold down option, lift up with my mouse or command C and paste whatever is best for you. And you're going to want to bring that down. So bring that clip down. So we made a copy of it. Next, we're going to come back over here and go to the point where you held the first clip on the top row. Go over here to the effects and we're going to hit our draw mask tool and we're going to bring that on the top. And we should have a cursor tool here. I'm going to zoom in so I can get more precise because the more precise you are, the better this look and effect is going to have. And that's what it's all about. And you're going to highlight and outline your subject. Boom, now I have everything highlighted on the subject. It should look like this. Then what we're gonna do, we're gonna make sure this cursor is right here. We're gonna come over to the side and under transform, there's something called scale all. So we're gonna keyframe this. So we're gonna come over here to the plus sign and we're gonna click it. Then we're gonna drag this cursor all the way to the very end of where it stops. Now, usually you can go up to 10 times you could 10 exit 20 exit i'm feeling i'm feeling i want to triple times it so i'm gonna do actually i'm gonna go like 38 because that's how i roll and then when you play back it should look something like this and that's pretty cool but let's say we want to enhance it even more first what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna hit the blade tool i'm gonna chop it right before the hold is so we're gonna separate the two I want to add I want to ignite some spark in it you know I'm gonna add an effect I'm gonna add an earthquake effect that would give it some cool movement and let's say I'm gonna add some static I got a plug-in I used to use this effect it's like a RGB uh, distortion effect this might be cool let's go ahead and play with it Oh, that's a little too trippy for me. You guys can get crafty. And if you want to also add text to enhance it, we can come over here to the text tool up top, come down to basic title, drag that on the timeline, do ignite, because that's what it's all about, ignite. Ignite cinemas, baby. Plug, voila. And if you guys want to enhance the text, you can put a little prism effect on top of that. Boom. Guys, get flashy, ignite it up, let your creativity flow. This is a very awesome effect that you can add to any of your videos to make them pop and stand out. If you guys enjoyed this tutorial, please hit the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Final Cut Pro 10 tutorials. And don't forget to ignite. See ya.